crossing a New Hampshire rooster with an Isa brown hen? Will crossing a New Hampshire breed rooster with an Isa brown hen be the same as crossing an Isa brown rooster with a New Hampshire hen in terms of egg production efficiency? It's a question I've always asked myself, but it's only now that it can be verified that it's not the same. It's worth noting that this same crossing rule applies to any other cross you want to make, as many have asked me that question. And the answer is no, and we'll see why. In terms of productivity for egg laying, crossing a New Hampshire rooster with an Isa brown hen is not the same as the other way around. This is mainly due to how hybrid lines like the Isa brown are developed. The Isa brown is a commercial hybrid specifically created for high egg production. Its genetics are a carefully selected combination of various breeds to maximize laying, feed efficiency, and other desirable characteristics for the egg industry. These hens are designed to be prolific layers. In the video description, I'll leave you the link to the crosses you need to make to produce Isa brown laying hens and the most outstanding characteristics of this line. On the other hand, the New Hampshire is a purebred known for being dual purpose, good meat and egg production. This is a breed that descends from the Rhode Island red breed and whose egg production levels are similar. Having an egg laying level similar to the Rhode Island red breed due to being a direct descendant of this breed, the New Hampshire is at a similar level in terms of egg production capacity to breeds like the Bard Plymouth Rock or the Sussex, so this example applies to a rooster of these breeds. While New Hampshire hens are good layers, around 250 large brown eggs per year, their genetic focus is not as strictly centered on mass egg production as that of the Isa brown. New Hampshire roosters contribute fast growth and good constitution characteristics which gives the offspring resulting from the cross with the Issa Brown a very good visual and body appearance. Let's first quickly see what happens if we cross an Issa Brown Rooster X New Hampshire hen. In this case, the offspring would have a mother with moderate egg production, which is the New Hampshire, but not as specialized as the Issa Brown. We must understand something before continuing, so please pay close attention to the following. In egg production, both the rooster and the hen contribute important genetic qualities, but in different ways. The hen is the one who directly lays the egg, and therefore, her genetics have a primary influence on the quantity, size, shell quality, color, thickness, resistance, internal egg quality, yolk size, density, and laying persistence. The genetic lines of laying hens are intensively selected for these characteristics. This means that using the hen with the greatest genetics in terms of egg production will always be a clear advantage for the descendants of the crosses you want to make. The rooster, on the other hand, contributes half of the genetic information to the offspring. His genetics influence the viability of the chicks, causing some daughters to lay more or fewer eggs as he passively modifies the genetics of the offspring by contributing half of his productive qualities. The primary function of the rooster is to provide fertility to the eggs, and he can also influence the growth characteristics and body constitution of future laying hens, making them more or less physically robust. Although he doesn't lay eggs directly, a rooster with good genetics can transmit characteristics that contribute to the health and productivity of his daughters. In this case, the Issa Brown rooster, although coming from a high production line, is not genetically designed to transmit that high production in the same way as an Issa Brown hen. The productivity of the daughters in this cross will be lower than in the one we will do next, leaning more towards the production range of a pure New Hampshire, or perhaps slightly higher due to the influence of the Isa Brown father. Knowing this information, which is of vital importance, let's fully delve into the cross that is the essence of this video, which is the cross of a New Hampshire rooster with an Isa Brown hen. As I have said in previous cross videos, it is important to know the productive qualities of the breeds we are going to cross, but in this case, to avoid being too repetitive, I am going to leave you the link so that you know each of the breeds we are going to cross, both the New Hampshire and the Issa Brown. So look for these links in the video description. The first thing we must consider when making this cross of two different breeds, one purebred and one hybrid, is that there will be variability in the offspring. Not all chicks will look exactly the same, but we will see the probable trends based on the crosses made for this video. It should be noted that the specimens shown are real images of this cross. Physical characteristics of the offspring. Plumage color. Isa brown hens usually have reddish brown or chestnut plumage, with some white feathers on the tail and neck. New Hampshire roosters are typically medium to light red, often with golden highlights, and have black tail feathers. 
The specimens resulting from this cross show a mixture of these colors, with the most characteristic color of the Issa Brown mother being more dominant. However, chicks with plumage ranging from reddish to brown tones can be seen, with some white or black feathers on the neck and tail. The intensity of the red or brown may vary since, as I mentioned, the New Hampshire breed descends from the Rhode Island Red breed, and the Rhode Island Red was used as a base to produce the Isa Brown line, so the brown color in different shades is dominant in this cross. The offspring of this cross are somewhat similar to those of the Rhode Island Red cross with Isa Brown, although those specimens are usually darker due to the genetics of the Rhode Island Red. Body Size this is one of the most important aspects of this cross that is worth highlighting. Since Isa Brown are medium-sized birds, with hens weighing around 2 to 2.5 kilograms, being slender-bodied. The body of the New Hampshire rooster is large and robust, with roosters that can reach 4 kilograms, having a deeper and wider body. This combination is super great, as the offspring will have an intermediate size between their parents. They will be larger than a pure Isa Brown, but only slightly, not as robust as a pure New Hampshire. These resulting hybrid chickens will tend to have a much stronger constitution than the Isa Brown, which could be beneficial in certain environments such as meat production. The Isa Brown, being a high egg production hybrid whose laying numbers easily exceed 300 eggs per year, can sometimes be more susceptible to certain health problems related to intensive laying, such as kidney problems or prolapse. Their immune system may be more focused on egg production than on fighting this type of disease, so you can often see this type of disease in this variety of hens. In contrast, purebreds like the New Hampshire are generally considered more resistant and robust overall. They have been selected for their vigor and ability to adapt to different situations, both climatic and environmental. Consequently, the offspring inherit greater resistance to certain diseases from the New Hampshire father. The hybrid vigor of the cross could also contribute to better overall health compared to a pure Issa Brown. However, these characteristics may vary individually in each of the offspring due to the genetic distribution at the time of conceiving the chick, due to the individual contribution of both the rooster and the hen that are crossed. Issa Browns usually have yellow legs, and New Hampshire roosters also have intense yellow legs, so the offspring have yellow legs. The comb and waddle of both the hen and the rooster resulting from this cross will inherit some characteristics similar to those of the base breeds that were crossed. Productive and Behavioral Characteristics of the Offspring of this Cross Let's start by talking about one of the most important things, I mean sexual maturity. Isa Browns are known for reaching sexual maturity early, starting to lay eggs around 16 to 18 weeks of age, something never seen in another variety of brown egg-producing hybrids. In contrast, heavier breeds like the New Hampshire tend to mature a little later, generally starting to lay around 22 to 24 weeks. Therefore, the offspring reach sexual maturity at a point intermediate between their parents, around 18 to 22 weeks. Fortunately, they will be able to inherit the tendency to precocity of the Isa Brown, since it is being used as the mother in this case, but the influence of the New Hampshire could delay it slightly in some individuals of this cross, so you will see some daughter hens that start laying a little later. Isa Browns, being exceptional layers, capable of producing more than 300 eggs per year in their first laying cycle, often approaching 320 or even more under good conditions. And the New Hampshire, with lower production than that of specialized hybrids, around 250 eggs per year. The offspring of this cross will have a high egg-laying capacity from the Issa Brown mother, but it is unlikely that they will reach the same extreme level of production as a pure Issa Brown. In these hybrid daughters of this cross, a production in the range of 250 to 300 eggs per year could be expected in their first laying cycle. The influence of the New Hampshire could slightly moderate the maximum production, but they should still be very efficient layers. As productive as a Black Star, Shaver Black, or Nick Brown, which are good laying hybrids. Regarding egg quality, size, weight, and color, the offspring will produce large sized eggs with an average weight similar to that of both parents, ranging between 60 to 65 grams. The shell color will be brown, as both parents carry the genes for brown eggs. The intensity of the brown color may vary slightly. Regarding temperament, the offspring will have a docile and manageable temperament from both parents. These beautiful hens and roosters of this cross are easy to raise and maintain, as they are very friendly and sociable with people, and also with other varieties of chicken breeds, which is an advantage for breeders. 
Apart from egg production, feed conversion is another important factor that we must consider when making crosses. In this case, it is a highly productive cross because the Isa Brown has been selected for its efficiency in feed conversion and egg production, so they require a relatively small amount of feed to produce a large number of eggs, which is about 120 grams of feed per bird per day. These qualities greatly help the resulting chickens from this cross. Since the New Hampshire breed is not as efficient due to its size and body, which is an advantage for meat production and therefore requires a greater amount of feed. The feed conversion of the New Hampshire breed is more balanced between egg production and body growth. Therefore, the offspring will have good feed conversion, leaning towards the efficiency of the Isa Brown due to its strong influence on egg production. However, they may require slightly more feed per egg than a pure Isa Brown due to their greater potential body size, but one thing compensates for the other. Meat and egg production are factors that can be very well utilized in the sons and daughters of this cross. If you have made any cross that you believe is productive, whatever the breeds involved, and you have audiovisual material to make the video, let me know in the comments and I will gladly contact you so that we can work together on making the video. For your success, breeder friend, until next time.